Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. I have some more C8 mid-engine Corvette information I want to share with you, so let's just get right into it. This video is going to be pretty short today. I have a few additional renderings I found online that were uh, new and kind of interesting looking. Uh, two leaked CAD images that give us a little more information about what to expect with this car. And even a rendering video that gives us a really good look at what the shell of the car is going to look like. So let's start with the CAD images. So first up is going to be an older CAD image that was released or leaked online. Uh, a few months ago. Um, I'd seen them a while ago, but these two particular I haven't seen. So this first one here is actually the rear end design that I showed in one of my previous videos showing a more angled 3D cut kind of taillight. But beside it here is a little image indicating that the new engine in this mid-engine Corvette is going to be an LT7. Uh, the little bit of the image you can see here, you can clearly see a turbo on it, and uh, I can see without a doubt it is the same mid-engine design that we had seen in previous CAD setups, but this one specifically is calling it an LT7. Now, of course, this engine is going to be the same uh, engine that we've heard rumors of, of either getting a 4.6 liter V8, 5.4 liter V8, or even the 6.2 liter V8. Now, this second CAD image that was also leaked gives us a very clear uh, view of what the headlight is going to look like. Um, I know a lot of the designs of the headlights that I've seen in previous renderings, apparently from what I've read, are kind of incorrect. These headlights are much more slim than what is being shown in some of the renderings, and the headlight actually looks a lot more like what it looked like, what, what the... Uh, the line looked like at least, underneath the wrap of the C8R. So these headlights are much slimmer than some of the renderings we have been seeing and this CAD image kind of demonstrates that. Now I'm gonna show this video of the 3D rendering circling around uh, the actual C8 Corvette here. Um, I did not create this, this is something I found on the internet. You can actually see who created it down there at the bottom of it. But it is an interesting concept here because this really does look very similar to what the car is likely to look like. And the, the thing that, that is interesting to me is that the person who designed this is literally going just off the shape of the car underneath that wrap. They didn't want to speculate on what the wheels or the headlights or the taillights were going to look like. So they li literally just left those blank. So what we're seeing here is literally just the shape of the car. And honestly, everything I've seen from... The bumpers being painted in the in the Corvette manufacturing warehouse to even some of the renderings as well as actually just the car under the wrap. Everything here looks to me like exactly what we've seen so far. So this is very, very likely to be the actual shape and look of overall general look of the car. All right, so the last two pieces of information I want to leave you with. The first one is... Again, rumors stating that we are going to see this car be announced at the Detroit Auto Show. The date, January 13th, 2019, is thrown around online a lot. There's a lot of information out there that actually supports this release date. So we could be seeing this very soon, very early in 2019. One of the pieces of information that really support this is, again, there's a lot of info out there suggesting that the C8 is going to be raced by the Corvette teams starting next year. So in order for them to really put this car on the track and really have it out there in the public, it's got to already be announced. So odds are very good we are going to hear something in early January about this car. Obviously, it's not going to be released right then, but at least we're going to start hearing about it, maybe get some solid information on it. And what better place to do it than an auto show? All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you liked what you saw, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, shoot them in that comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll catch you guys in the next upload.